imagine a body just falls out. <laughs> Alright guys, we are here in Amsterdam. Um, we are heading to Great uh, Germany. The next stop for my grandma. Uh, we're gonna visit her, you guys, with the fam. Check this out. Alright guys, we are renting out this car right here in Germany um, and we're heading out to do a road trip four hours to my grandma's place. Y'all, let's do this. Alright guys, day one in Germany. Everybody say hi. Thanks. Um, at least mom will do it. Hello, say hi. Guys. Um, we are here with my grandma. She is kind of being our tour guide. It is a very small city in Germany. It's called Greitz. Um, it is really old. And I really like that. They maintain the historical um, buildings, which is really awesome. Um, I'll show you guys around. Вот здесь вот суд, вот и всякие вот эти вот, которые официальные, все остальные службы, да? Really cool thing we found here, this house behind me, you can buy on the market literally for one euro. So if you have one euro laying around, which is about a dollar fifty, um, y'all can buy this whole building for a dollar fifty, yes. This is just really crazy, I've never seen that before. What the heck? Get caught, kid. Freundschaft. Freundschaft. Oh. Ah, okay. Ja. Vier ist es vier. Fünf. Vier, fünf. Ja. Sechs. 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 Sieben. Sieben. Acht. Acht. Neun. Zehn. Okay. One, two, three. Schon in Schule gelernt. Ich habe mich schon 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 gelernt. Лиза, можно тебя познакомить с моими подписчиками на YouTube? А? Можно познакомить тебя с моими подписчиками? С чем? Моими подписчиками. Ну, конечно. Да? Да. Um, hello everybody, I want to introduce you guys to my grandma's, we're at her house. Привет, познакомьтесь, это моя бабушка. Лиза, познакомься, всем привет, скажи. Я yeah, hello, my liebe Freunde. Mm -hmm. Я, yeah, ich kann nicht Englisch, ich muss Deutsch. Oder? Russisch. Да. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of her house and I just want to show you guys what a German house looks like. Um, check it out. This is the upstairs of her house. It's pretty old. Um, it's super cute. Cute little German house. And this is actually a fake cat. And look at the stairs. Squeaky. Squeegee. Squeegee. Are y'all day two right here? Let's do this. Um, we are going to a castle in Germany, in a small uh, city, and it's our last day here. Last day with our grandma, and we are heading out to Barcelona and other places. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the local flea market. Um, <laughs> it's like a couple of years behind in life, but it's really cool to see this actually. I get this piece on. Lisa, say hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, all my good friends. I welcome you all in our country. We have a good weather, a good mood. We are actually a little bit in stress, as always, all Europeans. Yeah. But everything is good. Everything is good. 
Мы и... здоровы, мы, 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 мы с полным животом, мы не голодные, никаких бомб, никаких неприятий, нет, все хорошо. Все, всем хорошего дня. Алис, Алис, куча, чиз, мой фронт. Этот город, как говорится, был и вот этот замок поставлен в горе. Из горы они вырубили вот это место, которое вот постоянно сейчас можно смотреть и восхищаться, как эти люди руками все без больших машин все это сделали, да? А я. So yesterday we made it to the Shreno apartment. We left Gret's, our grandma's house, and we found this on the side of the street, um, literally on booking.com, um, and it was so amazing. I guess we didn't even know what it was like at night, and then today we woke up. It is a gorgeous castle that has this apartment location inside, and it was only $150, you guys, and it fits eight people. What a deal. I'll show you guys around this beautiful castle house. Um, so this is the dining room. And we can go upstairs, you guys. Let me show y'all. And this is the second. I don't remember there's sleeping over there. You guys, this is the outside of this castle. We came here to take some photos. This is amazing and crazy. There are real life eagles right there, if you guys see them. Um, this guy's just watching. You can take care of them. So cool, do you like it? Yes, I do. I'll like send a location here for you guys to come here if you're traveling in Germany. Guys, from Germany, currently in Switzerland. Well, we got another 10 hours left. Beautiful sights. A 16 hour drive. <laughs> this is crazy, but I think it was worth it. Um, check out this view, it is just amazing. My brothers got scammed for this little thing. Five dollars. Yo, you just wait and see, bro. It's filthy. Hey guys, we are using the metro to get around. I'm also really used to it because of Moscow um, from my last last experience, and it's really good a uh, way to get around if you don't want to take the taxi or Ubers. Um, just have to do some research before you get on here. Uh, so you don't get lost inside the metro. But I mean, it's a good experience. I definitely think everybody should try it and see if you guys like it as a uh, way of transportation. I think this is like a Catholic church, bro. Bro, what time is it? Hold on. 920. Bro, don't do that, bro. 
Imagine a body just falls out. <laughs> you guys hear that? All right, guys, so we made it to this um, awesome beach located on the coast of Barcelona. It is just really beautiful. There are lots of tourists here, um, but it's still very nice and it's really different than our beaches um, down in America. I feel like they differentiate with um, the buildings and the beauty behind this. It looks really pretty. So um, I'll add the place and you guys can stop by. Really cute and beautiful here. I'll show y'all what it looks like. People don't wear clothes here. Greg, are you scarred? No. Not yet? Only when she turns towards you. Yes. Я бы здесь вижу. Чего? Скучно. Скучно в это? Да. Ну денек, два. Ну даже два много, мне кажется. Денек хорошо. Побыть. Да, дальше надо ехать смотреть, видеть, делать что-то. Не пойдет так. Пролеживать жизнь, да? Barcelona, we made it to Monte Carlo, which is in Monaco. We just had like a 12 hour drive. I honestly don't recommend driving on a car. I mean, it's definitely on your preference, but I don't like it. I'd rather take an airplane. Uh, but just like my family, they're crazy. They like to take their car everywhere. Um, I mean, 24 hour drives is just not my thing. Really tired, but we're gonna show you guys around a little bit. Formula One. The Formula One races are also located in this city um, once a year. So this is pretty much what it is known for. Pretty luxurious and on the side of the ocean. cars here. Um, every car you pretty much see drive by is a really expensive car. Yeah, yeah. If you were driving a car that's under $100,000, no, you are man. considered like a peasant here. <laughs> I shoot the shot. I'm coming in hot. up to in the morning before we head out to the leading tower of pizza I'm just sorry you guys this is our stay a little bit from Marco Carlo before we head up um, on our car it's like a little villa super old style <laughs> me my brother and me slept right here you guys let me tell you this thing and this whole entire room was so hot. We slept in our underwear, literally, and a shirt because it was hot, crazy hot in here. And we had this little AC thing that barely works. And let me show you guys the bathroom. And then let me show you guys the view we have on top. Right here, drying our clothes. Fun fact, there's no dryers in Europe and Russia as well. I showed this in my previous vlog from Moscow, but all they do is they wash their clothes in the, like washing machines, but they dry them out outside um, like this. It's pretty funny. Low-key, the, the clothes gets really stale and hard after, but it's okay, I guess. Better than nothing. And the view from today, we're heading out to Rome. About to be a seven hour drive. Let's do this, you guys. We made it here from Monaco. 
gonna go straight to this beauty right here behind me. Um, really excited to go check it out more, but this is what it looks like right now. But baby, we can't see the bottom. Don't exactly know how this happened. Um, I'll do more research, but I'm really interested to see um, more of it and the structure of the Leaning Tower. So let's do this. Promise me no promises. Oh no, no. Just be careful. What is up, everybody? Uh, we found the to the Coliseum behind me. Uh, this is gorgeous. We are about to do a tour. Um, I'll let you guys know. You gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we're gonna do a tour, and then I'll let you guys know how I feel about it after. And I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it because I'm not 100 sure, and I don't want to be giving you guys wrong facts. Uh, let's do. It. We're about to get in line, a fat line, to get the tickets because we didn't get them before, which is really annoying. So I definitely recommend everybody get your tickets online, and don't be like my family who does not plan anything on their trip. And this is the line we stood in. Oh, let's check it out. These lines up. Rage unbreakable. When in Rome. Open in Rome. Open in Rome. and it is really gorgeous. There are actually um, water fights here, so there's sailboats fighting each other, which we quite never knew about that, and lots of blood and people kill them here. There's actually another school that was located close to the Coliseum for the gladiators, which is pretty awesome and everything that. And check out this view. I got it. Yo, this is so so these things. Real life Rome, also. Right across the Coliseum. Um, I think it's a little dirty, to be honest. Uh, really similar to France, but Germany is super clean, you guys. Y'all, this for real a storm up in here? Jeez! You're riding the big bus tour. Uh, pretty good so far, and it gives you uh, pretty much a ride and with Wi Fi. Is this how you wear it? Yeah, bro, that's how you wear it. Hey, we spit it low key. Hey, Nick, how much can this resell for, bro? BB, BBT, baby. BBT, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's trying to pose. <laughs> and we are wearing these cute ponchos. And these guys are mad because we met the walking on. Smile, guys. Smile. You in Raw. <laughs> The Pope is located. This is at the St. Peter's Basilica behind me. And also, fun fact this whole little square is its own country called the Vatican. The Pope has named it and created his own country from this little square, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but we're gonna check that out. Rome Day 2, let's do it. Venice from Rome and I wanted to do a little house tour of our villa here because it is super awesome. It is in a castle also it is outside the Venice actual island so it is super affordable. I will put the details below for you guys and let's do it. Check it out. The really crazy part here is the fact that the ceilings are just so huge and tall. It makes you feel like you're literally in a castle for real. So um, this is the view we have outside. And this was actually a castle back in the day, so Veronica. And now it is just used for as a hotel. My bro, he Loki had got injured, y'all, on his foot. R.I.P. <gasps> we have Gucci curtains here, y'all. Straight up Gucci curtains. I don't know if they're real or not, but like legit, it's so funny. This is the master bedroom, my parents' room. This little piece right here. Look at this art, y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed. Super affordable, and this was a Airbnb, I believe, so you can rent it out on their website and check it out for yourself if you're gonna be traveling to them. I don't know if you guys have ever known, but 
even the UPS, even the police are on boats. Uh, the cops are actually on little jet skis, which is really funny. I'll show you guys in uh, the vlog. And it's just amazing. This atmosphere is different. I mean, you just have to do a lot of walking, which is so worth it. Nobody, nobody, nobody compares. Yeah, those are the local cops. They look hilarious on their little jet skis. Um, because there are no cars here, you guys. Like I said before, this is so funny. We made it to the top of the Acropolis. Literally, I hike up here. I don't like hikes, guys, but I did it just for the for the looks. It's once in a lifetime experience, so might as well. Uh, this is the Acropolis. There are a couple temples behind me and in front of me. They are so pretty, but sadly, they got destroyed. A lot of them are not kept up and there are just parts of the uh, temples left but still it is very beautiful and I do recommend people to come here. If you did not do your research like me also would recommend an audio guide or a tour guide um, on this because there's just so much details and there's just so much things that you need to know about from the history of this area so um, I'll show you guys around. Very impressed, happy and I think it's beautiful. Римская рыночная площадь. Видите, Римская рыночная Но так как прошло много времени, его неоднократно переставили. В период турецкого господства здесь построили мечеть, вот перед вами остатки от мечети. Видите? С крестом, да, уже? We use this app called Beat for um, getting around, like Uber, and it's cheap taxis than actually getting the ones on the side of the road. Going to a beach today. Y'all, this is the beach. Vibes right here. <laughs> Nick out here trying to cop shoes like always. Eric's passed out. He's trying to tan. Let me show you guys the water. It is so nice. It is called Alamo's Beach. Um, I will link the location below so you guys can check that out. <laughs> <laughs> car not allowed in here. So car only garbage car and police. I'm yeah. somebody else. And police, majority. garbage cars, that's it. Yeah. No room. No room for cars. No room, just walking. There's no room for parking for the water too. <laughs> Fun fact, they actually ran this Olympic game naked the first time. This 
is where the king and queen would sit during the Olympics behind me, uh, the prime spots. Um, and this is just amazing to see. I'll show you guys around. Um, it is really cool and I'm using this audio guide getting educated. Uh, the entry was only $17 for six people plus an audio guide, so it's super cheap and totally worth it. Currently packing up, you guys. It's actually, to one of the airports that we came here in Europe, they said that our luggages were too big, so the US sizes are different than the European ones. FYI to people traveling, but you know, you just kind of have to act like a stupid tourist, like you don't know, you had no clue. I um, mean, we actually got away with it, but we definitely have to watch out for that next time. Also, last little review before I end this vlog uh, about our uh, Athens stay. We did not like it, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie in the vlog about it. I will actually put it in the description, but I do not recommend this Airbnb because, first of all, everything was dirty. They had like a little table that was dirty with that um, cloth right there. They didn't have soap in the um, bathroom. It was just a whole bunch of complications here. And we are living in the most dangerous place in Athens, which is where all the protests happen. So definitely do not recommend this Airbnb. Watch out, you guys. I will actually put in the description below as well. Alright guys, I want to get on here and talk about Greece. So this was our last day here and I think it is a beautiful country um, but I do feel like it is going through hard times um, economically because of the crisis um, that is happening still currently um, and you can totally see with the graffiti on the sidewalk and some areas not <laughs> being so safe so that's kind of like a one um, downside to Greece, but it is a beautiful country. There's so much history in here to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I just hope you guys learned something and you can see and feel the vibes of every country that we visited. Also, more details will be on my Instagram posts that will be up on my page. I will be talking about the traveling, um, how we traveled on our car, and also a lot of details like that. I hope this vlog was useful to you guys, um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.